Hmm. Five o'clock on the ninth of July, is it? Yeah, because we just had Fourth of July. Jeez. The reason I'm despising people like Angelina Jolie and Natalie Portman now. I I could care less, sweetie. Stop. Stop. I don't give a shit what like snarky, half clever chick bullshit you try to put on the surface. It's these nasty fucking tweakers. I can hear mumbling like way up the hill. Then it's all the stories and shit afterwards from all the people up and down these trails. And it's irritating shit like this to where Angelina Jolie employs thousands of maggot-like jackasses who are just waiting for me to step away from my area so they can fill the void with whatever they want. And Angelina Jolie smirks and finesses it and refines the bullshit facade into something sellable to the masses. And so the undertow continues. Everybody too insecure and nervous or guilty to say hello to me and now has a bandwagon to hop on. Thumb their nose at me and throw tomatoes just because it's the easier thing to do. Some people would like try to put a spin on it and go, it's the human. No, it's not the human thing to do. Stop trying to pour sugar on a ruined recipe, Angelina Jolie. You, you lost, lady. Sorry. Uh, but it's moments like these that really irk me. It's just, I want to go to the store and get sugar, but, like, I know I get that line in an Eminem song. Eminem, Eminem, Eminem song. So I stand and I sit and I pace and I back and forth. You can't fucking go anywhere without one of these stupid people propagandizing and some loud snark as they try to drop their two cents and some pronunciated desperate means of validating their existence by making fun of me as they walk by that's that's their that's their choice of Yes, that's me. There's two different versions of it. Sometimes I sneeze and just make a loud boom. It kind of vibrates and echoes the area. There's another much louder version of it. But, uh, as you can see, no, nobody chases me away or... Tells me what to do. They wait for me to leave my tent so they can sneak over here and, like, take pictures with my stuff or, again, fill the wake of my absence with whatever they want to. And then Portman and Jolie, others like them, refine the lies into something usable. There was a line in this uh, Cirque book that caught me. Between Helios and Zeus, and probably why I never liked those guys in the long run. So they were like standing there, kind of ruling things. It was their believing or pretending to believe each other's lies is what kept the balance of the world or whatever. So that's what you idiots do. You worthless cowards, and your belly crawling as long as you just. You get enough people winking and pretending you're bullshit, you don't care. And that goes for like 80, borderline 90% of the fucking planet. So yeah, you guys gotta go, sorry. Off the fucking planet. Like, us talented people with actual futures, with awesomeness. Like, it's our turn now. You jackasses had your... Time. I would say your chance, but you guys have had time. So, yeah. Teal Swan. I think she has a crackhead. Just another gremlin. She's the only one I've given, like, almost pinpointed directions to my place to. And the wrong people showed up, like, the day 
after two days after I sent her that email. It's not looking good for you, Teal Swan. Bum, bum, bum. Anywho, I'm going to go see if I can't get some freaking sugar for my coffee. That's all I want to let you know. Under the five minute mark, that's all I want. I just, I just want to go get, I have an ample amount of coffee, but I have no sugar for it. So all I want to do is run up to the store and get some sugar. So I have some sugary coffee, but like, I got to sweat and stress all these decisions about what girl is going to be streaming through here when she thinks the scary, dangerous guy is gone. Versus what kind of dumb bullshit they're going to try to tell some stupid... I can't even... It's that bad. It really is. And worse than that is when you get one of these Garfields or Hollands or any of these dumb cowards. When you finally get them within range, they shrug their shoulder and they go, through And finally get them caught or whatever, tripped up calling them out to a fight, all they have to do is fucking turn into a worm in front of people. And then you're the asshole for being the aggressive party. It's sad. Anywho, yes, I did write something. In my travel bug. I don't know if I'm going to finesse it or finish it. The girl I wrote it to seems to know the whole damn movie was just Space Prince porn, so I'm noticing that. There's a few movies out that are just, they're me, and I like them. It's subtle. And good. Thank you. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll upload this at some point, and then I want to skedaddle. I want to go do cool stuff. Even my voice is starting to resonate in deeper things. When I get deep voice like this, it means something something big is about to happen. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, it's my real voice. Let me see if I can't do this one hand. I don't think I can, so I gotta get this phone back. Or hand back. Anyway, chat with you guys soon, I guess.